Welcome to the YouTube channel for the old classic car site. 150 photographs of pre-war British saloons, i.e. those cars designed and or built in the 1920s and 1930s, make up this video. The majority were built in the 20s and 30s, although as a few models were put back into production for a short time following World War II, a number of those are also featured, but are of pre-war design, so are included here. Cars from Austin, Morris, Ford, Hillman, Singer, Alvis, Riley, and many, many more all feature in the selection of pre-war British saloons. I hope this is of interest. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if I've included your favourites here. Okay, we begin this collection of uh, photographs of pre-war British saloons, i.e. 1920s, 1930s, with YY3968, which is a 1932 Riley 9 Monaco, and that's followed by a short rad Ford Model Y. This is a Singer Junior of 1930. An LG4719. That is a Hillman 14 of the early 1930s. Talbot that we've got from 1932. That is a Morris 10 Coupe. In a rear view of GO1185, which is 1931 Riley 9. AEL30, that's a magnificent Lagonda M45 Sport Saloon, seen here at Alton Park. And there is a rear view of the same car. That is a pre war Rover P2 Sport Saloon, 12 horsepower car something of a restoration project and here's BFJ 907 that is a 1936 Wolseley 14 CJJ 71 that's a 1935 Talbot 105 airline that was at a VSCC sprint meeting and UL 1100 that's a 1929 Humber 1440 fabric bodied saloon this is an Austin 7 Ruby FNB 989, that's a 1939 Alvis Speed 25. And down to Gaydon and the British Motor Museum, and this is their air cooled Rover 8 saloon of the early 1920s. EG 774, that's a 1933 Riley Monaco. And VW 974, that is a just post war Morris 10M. But it was a pre-war design, so it sneaks into here. Now to Langotha Motor Museum, and this is a standard 16 Jubilee Saloon of 1935. OP42, that's a 1935 Derby era Bentley. DLC 950, another Riley, this time a Riley 12.4 Falcon Saloon. There's a side view of a Bentley 3 litre at the VSCC Lowton Park Hill Climb. There's a rear view of the same Bentley. Very fine early 1930s, mid 1930s Rolls Royce. And another Rolls Royce RX198, which is a 1927 20 horsepower car, bodied by Mulliner. The review of an Austin 7 Ruby of the mid to late 1930s. That is the Talbot 3 litre that I rescued from its long term garage home back in 2020. And there's an Alvis 1250 saloon, I believe, the split windscreen. EBC 483, that's a post war, just 1946, standard 14. Whereas DK8873, that's a 1933 Riley. Super little car. Back to Gaydon and the British Motor Museum, and this is a swallowed bodied Austin 7. This is a Morris 8 Series 2 saloon, four door. Perhaps someone help, could help me out with the identification of this Riley. 
It could be a Riley 12 for Adelphi, but if someone could confirm or correct that, please. And staying with Riley, JS4619, that's a Kestrel 126 from 1934. GC2355, that's a 1930-2025 Rolls-Royce, bodied by Mulliner. And here we've got a Ford Model Y saloon with the long radiator grille, a four-door car. This is a Talbot 1445 of 1932. MJ4502, seen Alton Park, that's another Riley 9 Monaco. Two-tone grey car, very nice. That is my old Morris Minor from 1934. There's an Austin 7 box saloon with makeshift handbrake arrangement on the back wheel. Perhaps someone could tell me who bodied this Vauxhall. It's a 1935 car, but I don't recognise the coachwork on it. Here we have VO45, that's a 1928, so a proper vintage Humber four-door saloon. A rear three-quarter view of DXM222, which is a 1937 Bentley. Magnificent car. This is a fantastic car, that's why I've included two photos. A 1939 MG one and a half litre VA saloon. There's the rear view of the same car. Real time warp barn find car. Here's an Austin, I believe an Austin 12. An EPG 67. That's an Aston Martin Mark II long chassis saloon. Here we have an Austin 10 Cambridge of the late 1930s. BOV 730, that's a Talbot 105 airline. And this is a Riley 9 Merlin from 1936, seen it down at the Prescott Hill Climb in the car park. And here's an Austin 7 Top Hat Saloon. Another Austin 7 Saloon, Box Saloon, ALA 92. Another lofty saloon bodied Austin 12. The first of two photographs featuring CKU928, which is a 1938 Triumph Vitesse. An amazing shaped car. I mean, what a, what a machine. VU7465, that's a 1931 Sunbeam 20. Very stylish, low roof line, fantastic car. This is a recreation built around the 1928 Fraser Nash. Nicknamed the Owlet. ETD 732, that's a 1939 Rolls Royce, seen here on wedding car duties. CLB 572, strictly speaking, it's not a saloon, it's a taxi, or to be precise, it's an Austin 12 4 low loader taxi. Back to the Rileys, Koi 552, that's a 12 4 Kestrel saloon. Very sleek car. This is a 1938 Vauxhall 25 horsepower limousine. Very unusual car indeed. CD, CWU 874, that's a pre-war Ford 7Y. Only produced for a couple of years. And here we've got a side view of a 1934 standard 1012 Speedline. A two-door suicide doors. And then we have the close-in view of a, another Talbot saloon. KU7592, that's a Bentley 3 litre from 1926, very much of the vintage era, vintage being up to and including 1930. Here we've got an MGSA of 1936. A small Wolseley, either an 8 or probably a 10, 1947, but pre-war design. Another Austin 7 box saloon. Another slightly different Austin 7 saloon, also at a VSCC Prescott meeting. And here we have CRR 706, which is a Vauxhall 14 DX from 1936. 
from 1936, a six-cylinder car. This is the first of two BSE, BSA Scout Coupés. Here's the second example, this was at Alton Park a few years ago. Carrying on with the pre-war British saloons, we have this, an Austin 10 Cambridge of about 1936-37. AYY 994, that's a 1934 SS1 Coupe, standard swallow. And this is a Triumph Super 9 of 1932, a very derelict car that I went to view many years ago, which I believe has now been restored. Here we've got a side view of a pre-war, late 1930s standard Flying 8. Many of these cars were produced before and after the war. Same with the Hillman here, this is a Hillman Minx from 1936, a Hillman Minx Magnificent. There's a rear view of the same car. Many of these cars that were produced in the late 1930s went back into production as soon as the war ended in the mid-late 1940s. We've got a standard 9 Tinmouth from 1929. Again, fabric bodied. The main body. Boy 451, that's an MGSA from 1936 on a very sunny day. Two-tone car. Next, a big old Austin FO3032, which is 1934 with a 1.8 litre engine. There's a mighty fine Humber of the late vintage period. Like I say, vintage is up to and including 1930. And the first of two photographs featuring WL6144, which was an MG1880 saloon. A very rare car indeed, coach-built saloon. There's a Morris 10.4. A very popular four-door saloon car of the mid-1930s. One time they were everywhere. And this small, delightful little coupe is an SS2. Standard Swallow 2 coupe, APH326. G GV3545, that's a Wolseley Hornet saloon. Head-on view here. GPK915, that's an Austin Big 7 of the late 1930s. Very fine two-door Rolls-Royce. If anyone can provide more information on the bodywork on this car, please pop a note into the comments below. Same for any of the cars here, actually. There's another Austin 7. This was at the Langothlin Motor Museum, with a chummy alongside. BWU85, that's a Riley Kestrel, 12 4, from 1936. Bad 601, that's an Austin 10 4 Litchfield. This is just about post-war standard Flying 8, or rather, post-war they were a standard 8, pre-war they were the Flying 8. That's a post-war example. PP8332, that's a 1927 Humber Saloon. Fantastic vintage saloon. The rear view of the same car. Note the coach-style door handles on it and sliding windows. Very original looking car indeed, fantastic. Austin 7, with a grey Fergie tractor alongside for company, a diesel tractor. BF7255, glistening in the sun, is a Vauxhall 2060 Grosvenor Saloon. Absolutely magnificent car. A rear three-quarter view of a Bentley 3 litre, I believe. Here we have a pair of Austin Rubies, circa 1937-1938. 1559 KC, that's a 1934 Rolls-Royce Limousine. Designed with top hats in mind, I believe. And this is a four-door Morris 8 Series 1. Very similar to the car I've got, of which I've done a few videos of now, if you go looking around the channel. This EBY 545, that's a Wolseley 10 from 1939. That appeared at a local auction house a few years ago. GT7019, this is a 1931 standard Big 9. Side view of an Austin 7 box saloon. DXB916, that's a Riley Falcon 12.4. Carrying on with these pre-war British saloons, we have this uh, magnificent Vauxhall Cadet, JN2611, that's from 1932. And this is just post-war, it's a big Rover P3, I believe, 
DRX58, but again a very much a pre-war design, as is this Rolls-Royce. 141 KVD, this is a Daimler Special, a uh, Daimler Sports Saloon, based on the DB17. And there's an Austin 12.6 restoration project, built in 1935, six-cylinder car. And to Gaiden again, BWM 960, that's a fantastic streamlined saloon based on the Rover P1, a 14 horsepower car. And this is the very late, just post-war Austin 16, down at Gaiden. One of several cars, like I say, that was built either side of World War II. This is a just post-war standard 8 drop-head coupe. The pre-war cars had slats in the side of the bonnet, post-war they didn't. Back to Gaiden, we've got TM6124, this is a Rover Light 6 Sportsman Saloon of 1929. Then we have an Alvis, very smart four-door saloon. The magnificent Humber Hawk from 1946, carrying on where the late 1930s car left off production. Another Wolseley, probably an eight or a nine horse car. The Morris 8 Series E, another car that was built before and after World War II, but very much a pre-war design, still with its original slopey headlamp lenses. And this is lost in 10.4 of 1932 to 1934. Very popular car of the 1930s. And here we have a Singer Junior, going back to the 1920s. A fabric bodied Austin 12. MJ2219, that's a 1933 Triumph Pillarless Saloon. This was down at the Haynes Motor Museum, I believe. BPK769, that's a 1934 standard nine horse. Very smart little car indeed. This is a Vauxhall 10 from 1939. GVT 429. And rounding out this set of photographs, we've got an Austin 8 USJ 225. I believe a post-war example, just, but as with several of the others, very much a pre-war car in design. So, that rounds out this collection of 150 photographs of pre-war British saloons, i.e. those designed and or built in the 1920s or 1930s. I hope they were of interest. Please let me know in the comments if you're a fan of these pre-war British saloons. Uh, have a look around the channel. There's plenty of other photo collections and other videos which may be of interest. So thanks for watching. Please give this one a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep an eye on the future uploads that are due here. So thanks for, thanks for watching and bye-bye uh, for now.